Hey Aries, this is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot. Welcome to your reading for the month of November. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. I love this. You know, you could be dealing with an air sign since we have birds here. But I'm getting here that your person is looking to you on how to get grounded, right? So you can be back to your center. And so they're waiting for you to lead the way because they're looking to you. Because in this card over here... It says that your understanding and wisdom inspires me. I have so much I want to say to you. I have been trying to get your attention in the 5D. Okay. So I get here that your person really looks to you for what you're going to do. And then they follow your lead. Okay. So as far as your person, um, I'm getting here that they're a lone wolf right now. They could be hibernating, so to speak. It says here, take care of your needs, right? So... They could be only fending for themselves, not really concerned about anything else right now. And that's not a bad thing because they're trying to take care of themselves first before they can worry about anybody else. And this might be something that's hard for them to do to take care of themselves and not worry about other people. That might be hard for them because they might be the type of people that always takes care of people first and they think of themselves as last. You know what I mean? And so this is hard for them to do because they have to go into this void where they have to really dig deep to find those answers. When they look to the future, they, they feel like they need guidance. And that could be why they look to you, Aries, for guidance. Okay. And they're not letting you know a lot of things in the 3D. And I think that's why they're asking you to meet them in the 5D so they can, you know, tell you how they really feel. And deep down, they have anxiety about telling you how they feel. And that's why they're not coming forward. In the 3D, they're numbing it, okay? And so I'm getting here that with this time apart, it's going to help you guys be able to understand where the other is coming from. And so also, it says here the fifth mirror mother, father, belief systems. So a lot of times in the, this reminds me of the 5D, and it's funny because we have the 5D here. That's usually where you look at things from a higher perspective without judgment because you're looking at everything from more than one perspective and so this could be why your person has outdated beliefs that they need to reevaluate everything right and so that has to do with their mother and father and how they were raised and so they may have to deprogram their mind from whatever their their parents taught them when it comes to who they are as a person right? Because they're going through a void right now. This is like a dark night of the soul type of energy. And it also will deal with their confidence because I get here that your person has a hard time being confident and not just confident, but being confident about his emotions is what I'm getting here and finding his own balance. Okay. So he could be doing yoga or something like that to really tap in. And then we have the answer is yes right here. Okay. Just say yes to new beginnings okay that's what i'm getting here because these came out together it says here this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby okay so this is not an accident <laughs> that you know it has to deal with starting a fresh new start and so i kind of get here that your person could be somebody that doesn't really believe in themselves and that could be something from their childhood right something that their father or mother may have given them some kind of complex and so now it's up to them to really break away from that type of mindset okay and so i pulled these cards earlier so i'm just gonna lay them out So on the first spread here, we have the Empress, the Sun, the Five of Cups, and the Tower. Okay, so I very much get here that you're going to be stepping into your Empress energy. I get, also get here that your person could be finally acknowledging that they haven't tapped into their feminine energy where they're going to finally realize what they feel, right? Because they're over here by the ocean in this deck. 
So they're going to gain some clarity. And it's interesting that we have time apart. Some distance will help you bring clarity. So they're going to gain some kind of insight so they can take action towards their own happiness and stop being in this five of cups energy where they're drinking too much being in this woe is me type of attitude this is going to require them to completely change their mindset which could end up being a tower moment because that's the breakdown of old beliefs right and we did see that with the mother father belief systems so that's confirmation right there that your person is going to go through a dark night of the soul, which is a tower moment as well. And they're going to need some guidance and they're going to look to you kind of like as their lighthouse to get them back to the shore. You know what I mean? To get them out of that anxiety. Um, you know, when I think of anxiety, it's like being out in the ocean, not having that compass of where you're headed. Right. But you are their light. Okay. You are their light to, to guide them, to get them back home with the dog and everything. <laughs> Maybe you guys um, are dog people. Maybe you're a person is. But, you know, a lot of animals are in this deck. We have a wolf. We have the, the, the birds here. I think this is a red panda. Um, very interesting. Okay. And we're going to pull some more cards here in a little bit. But then these also came out that I wanted to point out. So your person for November, Aries, is not only going to get a new fresh perspective, but they're going to want a new beginning. Look at this. We got the Fool. And at the bottom of the deck for the Fool was the Five of Wands, okay? So that means that they're going to fight for this new beginning with you. And there's a little dog again. <laughs> I just noticed it. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody with a bird again, another animal here. So you guys could be getting some guidance and hints and signs for, and synchronicities from spirit animals. So just keep that in mind. And then we have the wheel, which is the end of a karmic cycle. Lessons are being learned. This is about your fate, your destiny, having good luck, having good fortune. And then we have temperance, okay, which is about reconciliation with the self and with another, right? So you guys could finally have that reconciliation. And then we have the death card, okay? If you look at this one closely, there's somebody at um, a tombstone there. I'm getting here that this person is saying goodbye to somebody from their past and they're going through a rebirth, right? And the angels are here to help them to finally have confidence in themselves that they needed to let go of the past because they were in this five of cups energy, right? So... I'm getting here that with this nine of pentacles, them being single on their own without you is teaching them these lessons that they needed to learn, these karmic lessons so that they can finally bring it full circle, okay? And the fact that we had the new beginnings card right here with the empress and the sun right next to it kind of tells me that when this person does come in, you might get pregnant, Aries. I'm just saying. <laughs> or if you're a guy, you might get somebody pregnant. but that could be a tower moment, okay? So take it how it resonates, but I'm getting here that your person is going to come in back into your life in some sort of capacity, right? They're going to come out of the secret lover energy, and it's going to be a decision for you to make, but spirit is telling you to say yes, okay? Then we have 747, begin to take your talents to the next level. Your dream job can become a main source of income. Love it. You know, the yellow here is for the solar plexus chakra, and that has to do with your own happiness and joy. So I'm getting here that maybe in the past, you weren't happy with the type of work that you were doing. And so spirit is telling you to tap into your into your spiritual gifts, into your gifts, into your talents, because you're going to be able to make that into your dream job. And you have the word dream here. And I forget where I saw the word dream again. Oh, but you know what? Forgot to mention. The Knight of Pentacles was at the bottom when I pulled this spread out. So yeah, your person's definitely coming forward in November. <laughs> okay, so I think it was in this one here. Yeah, here it is. So we have Field Mouse, success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big, okay? There's a, that's that word again, dream big, your dream job. This is a mouse sitting in a field of wheat, okay? So, you know... Usually mice are gatherers, right? Like they, they're kind of like the ants, like they, they know what they're doing to survive and stock up. <laughs> um, they're very diligent creatures, right? Even though we definitely don't care for them, right? <laughs> but 
this is a field mouse okay so they're connected to nature i'm getting here maybe they could even eat wheat as their food preference i'm not sure but either way this is a lot of yellow here it reminds me of the solar plex chakra and this one here so maybe Aries, you may need to look into your solar plexus chakra. That's where you could start to see how you can tap into what brings you joy. So that way it will get you closer to your dream. And then one of the cards that your person wants you to know is, I'm sorry, I held myself back with you. Okay. And that could be why the secret lover is here. You know, them being in the background, wanting to get your attention and talk to you in the 5D. Because right now in the 3D, they don't feel like they can tell you how they feel. But by what we just saw with the wheel, some turn of events is happening, okay? Where they're going to come back and finally gain that confidence to tell you how they feel. And I pulled the mixed emotions to how they feel about you. And we have confident and comforted, okay? So they're feeling courageous that they can take that leap of faith and comforted because they know that you're going to catch them when they fall okay like you nourish them you um take good care of them you have a very motherly um way about you and that could be why the empress card showed up here too because you are the queen of all queens aries so i love this reading and so let me give you some last messages for romance angels to see what else is going to happen here for the month of November for you, for you and your person. Oh, wow. Getting to know each other. Love it. <laughs> As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Wow. I love this for you, Aries, because your person's definitely coming back and they're going to come back more confident than ever. You may not even recognize this new person that's going to come towards you, but they are going through a tower moment. So they might also come to you for advice. That could be why the spiritual guidance came as well, because they're going through a tough time. Look at this deception. At the bottom, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So what I'm getting here is that they could come forward to you and letting you know that they got burned. You know, somebody that they were with, a karmic, could have lied to them. And now they're looking to you to comfort them. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aries, reconciliation. And then we already have the temperance card. I mean, that's not a coincidence. That's spirit talking, okay? Someone from your past is returning to your life. Oh my goodness. I love when synchronicities happen in readings like this. Wow. This is beautiful. And look at this. Bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. You have known each other before, okay? So this is not y'all's first rodeo. You guys are going to reconcile here in November. You're going to get to know each other, be each other's confidant. No more lone wolf energy. You know, he's going to actually fight for you. Maybe in the past he, he didn't fight for you, Aries. But finally, Spirit is giving you the, the nod to go towards this new beginning. Just say yes. Okay. <laughs> So that is your reading, Aries. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated, if it did. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, definitely do so by clicking on the link. I listed it down below, okay? Thank you, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.